We started out a little bit slow. They scored in the first two drives, I believe. Uh, they were checking out a lot of the blitzes we ran. They, they, they scouted us pretty well. So after we figured that out, we started to you know show a lot of hide our coverages, show a lot of blitzes and run coverage off of it. So yeah, they had a hard time figuring that out, and that helped slow down the pass game. Uh, I was amazed at the end of the day that our defense only gave up 87 yards passing and actually only had two sacks. And uh, I was very impressed with uh, what our defense has done. I mean, they, we got down 14 to nothing, and, and uh, they started playing even better and answered the bell quite often, a lot of times on short fields and with the, the wind at the great quarterback's back. And I, uh, they've had a couple of good outings here recently where they've really manned up and just taken the game over. I'm hoping that uh, we uh, – haven't played our best game yet. And the atmosphere was great after. Uh, we found out that Jacksonville lost, so we're, uh, we're tied for the PFL lead. So yeah, everyone was pretty static after that. Well, you know, Nick's one of those guys, he, uh, he, he came here a couple years ago, and he's just worked his way into the lineup. Uh, he's one of those guys, he's a plotter. He's here every day, uh, he brings his lunch pail, works hard, takes corrections, um, is a tough guy, wants to do what's right, and is a They have a really strong pass attack. Uh, I think they have their quarterbacks got over a thousand yards. They got a couple of receivers over 300 yards. So first thing starts with the pass attack. We have to slow that down first. They're a high potent offense. They've got uh, uh, a lot of skilled players. Uh, their quarterback was a freshman when we played him last year. He's really grown up and done a great job. Their offensive line is playing quite well. And uh, it's, it's going to be a very hard game. I think Keith uh, sometimes uh, functions under pressure better than no pressure. And he just, uh, I think what's happened to Keith in the, the last few games is he's gotten off to an erratic and not a very uh, positive start, and sort of his confidence has wavered a little bit. And as the game goes along, I think he gets a feel for the tempo, what the people are doing, what we can do uh, offensively, and uh, he's played well under pressure and duress, and that's that's the mark of a good quarterback.